here's the basic flow. Five-day promotion powered by email. In our, in our markets, most of our stuff, we found out that Saturday to Tuesday seems to be the best. First promo goes out on Saturday, every single day until Tuesday, and then we stack it up with a few different few emails on Tuesday. So it's a scarcity-based promo based because it's, it's a limited time promotion, all right? Sold via simple sales letter. I'm not talking about a big, crazy, over-involved sales letter. I'll show you how simple some of mine are in, in, to begin with. They're very, very simple. Does not have to be complicated. By the way, guys, that five-hour energy I just chugged back there, I should not have chugged that thing. It's, it's right here. And I think my Adam's apple is getting the workout, not my, not my body. Okay, so an MVP is mapped out during the five-day promotion. So when the, pr when the promotion goes live, all you start with is a sales letter and an email. Okay, we're going to get into exactly how to do this. And then you map out and develop the MVP after you've committed to sending that first email. When that first email goes out, now you're like, oh crap, I'm on the hook. That's when the, that's when the promotional period or the, the mapping out period begins. Promotion-wise, all you have to do is stay one day ahead of the emails. Okay, this is again a minimum viable product. We're not talking about a product launch or anything where you got to have pre-launch sequences and then JV sequences and swipe emails and... Uh, all kinds of trigger-based trigger responses or anything like that. We're talking a very simple process. The offer closes when the workshop starts. Okay, anybody kind of starting to go, oh yeah, I think I've seen them do that before. I know Dave has. Dave's been a part of every single one of them. Same with Lex. All right, at the end of the workshop, soft pitch a back-end offer. Okay, your people will want that and why not maximize revenue and provide insane value to your people, especially after you've just delivered an awesome MVP. And the cool thing is the back-end offer can be another uncreated MVP for whatever the next back-end offers. You're getting paid again to create the next step in your funnel or your sequence or your back-end. Is this making sense? Awesome. Boring? No, only, only Brad thinks it's not boring. All right, so the main components of a paid in advance sales slash offer page. It could be a sales video. I don't use a sales video because it takes me longer to do a sales video than it does a sales letter, okay? Email promo sequence, five-day email sequence. We write, it's actually like about eight emails, we'll go through this, but one email per day, and then we take a variation of that same email and we, we mail the unopens that evening, okay? So that there's basically two emails going out based on how they open. Go to webinar or easy webinar is the platform we send them to. They buy through the sales page and they're taken to a registration page to register for a webinar or a live training or a live workshop or a hangout or whatever you want. Typically, we use GoToWebinar and EasyWebinar. We're moving everything over to EasyWebinar as Los was talking about because of all the tracking and the tagging and the behavioral stuff we can do. Plus, it's just a simpler platform and it doesn't have all of GoToWebinar's known goofiness that we have to deal with. MVP is actually live training. You deliver it live. That's the additional value bump that you're giving people. It's like, hey, you're not going to get a course. You're getting me and, or them or who or whoever, you're, whoever is delivering the content. It doesn't have to be a talking head. It could literally be a PowerPoint or a screen share or something like that. A back-end offer that you can soft pitch off the back. Optional components that you can include if you really want to get fancy and snazzy. An order bump. Order bump is, can be done two ways. On the sales page, you can have, when, when they start to fill out the, the order form, it pops up, it immediately pops up with an addition to the cart that says, hey, for an additional $17, it, you know, you can get X, Y, or Z bonus, okay? Order bumps are great. Another thing you can do is, after, it can actually be almost a downsell. After they buy, they're, they're taken to the registration page for the webinar, they register for the webinar, and then they're redirected to an offer that's complimentary even before the MVP has been delivered. So a different product. So Frank Kern is famous for this. You opt in for one of Frank Kern, or you pay for one of Frank Kern's trainings, or even opt in for a free one. You go to his, you register for the webinar. The thank you page of the webinar is an offer for Video Black Box or one of his other courses. And you're like, okay, I guess I'm buying something. And then you wind up buying it because, of course, it's Frank Kern. So paid ads, you can leverage paid ads to drive traffic to it instead of just your email list. You can also leverage affiliates if you have this stuff. 
okay? Paid ads, obviously, I would recommend you leverage, if, especially if you don't have an email list because you need traffic from somewhere. Affiliates, affiliates can be hard because they're fickle and it's hard to get them on a schedule and get them dialed in. And usually a paid in advance thing is something that you're doing internally or quickly to get a product developed. So having the hang up on delivering your product be based on affiliates is not a good idea. But if you have affiliates, leverage them. And then retargeting, which is not really optional. Because otherwise, everything that I taught you guys this weekend wouldn't be, any, wouldn't be true. Okay, oops, where are we going? Okay, so here's what it actually looks like when we break it down. Okay, so we have the promo emails. Promo email one, oh, they all say number one. Clearly I can't count, but there should be one, two, three, four, five, right? All the promo emails point to the sales page. Paid ads also drive to the sales page. Sales page sends people after they purchase to the re workshop registration page. The workshop registration page either can, t can redirect them to an order bump if you're gonna use it, or it can just tell them when the live workshop's gonna be and then notify them when it's time for the webinar or the training or whatever. And then at the end of the live workshop, after you've delivered massive value, your people are, are excited, they're ecstatic, they've been on the webinar with you for seven and a half hours and listened to you break a mouse, not fall over your chair, not, spill a drink and ruin a keyboard, then you sell them something else and they think it's awesome and they get even more value out of it. And all of that was true. That was the last training one we did. And I spent 15 minutes with a headset running around my house going, I can't find batteries for my mouse because it died right in the middle of the presentation. So you can even be goofy on it and unintentionally and it shows that you're real. Today, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about Facebook ads and driving, using them to drive traffic to your store. Over the last week, we've doubled sales every single day. And to this morning, uh, about 7.30 this morning, we already were over $1,000 profit for the day.